if we remove nutritionally bereft carbohydrates from the diet <laughs> and replace them with nutrient-dense foods, what is the risk of worsening your nutritional deficiency? I'd have to say not much. Now, I just want to, I have issue with these ranking lists of foods in terms of their nutrient composition. Every one you see, you'll see vegetables come out on top and way down the list you have things like meat and cheese and cream. Now the reason for that is they do a calculation. They're operating under the old paradigm where fat is bad. So they say, well, work out the concentration of nutrients, then we'll divide it by the amount of fat. So anything with a good fat content has a larger denominator and falls way down the list. So all of the our understanding of nutrient density in food, if we obtain it from these commonly available charts, we're getting it wrong. If you actually have a look at the amount and the type and the variety of nutrients in foods, animal products win hands down.